today we're on the hunt at the Serengeti to find ourselves an alpha male. No, the alpha male. This is a TNA, an old TNA figure that I bought years ago, still in package. As you can see how old it really is, if you know that company. Yeah, it's that old. And yes, and you can also see how much it was. So for right now, this guy is popular. AJ Styles. Now you have Chris Saban. Now, now Chris Saban was a good wrestler. It still is. Yeah, I think he's still in uh, Ring of Honor. Now if you see there, I'm see if I can zoom in. That's called the X Division title. Kind of like a cruiserweight or a secondary title. Not, it was a very good division until they squandered it. It happened. And you got Raven here. It looks like he comes with a uh, straight jacket. Looking different from his uh, ECW days and his uh, WWE days. But still looks pretty good. Let's zoom in. We can get a little good look at him. Not too bad. Let's talk about this. The only action looks like it's going to be aesthetic action. Like the prop action. Uh, Chris Raven looks like he has a launcher, he has a straight, Raven has a straight jacket, he's just out of the table. And this is the ring pose. I don't like this. I don't like this ring pose at all. I, it, it's just dumb. I mean, you're going to put him in a ring. and going to use that in a ring. Now, for those of you who don't know, TNA has six sides of ring. So he could do this move pretty much from any corner of the six side of ring. But still, I don't understand that I'm going to have another turnbuckle. Inside the ring to have him do the pounce. Why don't I just toss him to the ring and then do the pounce? Anyway. So, yep, TNA. If I have a feeling that by the time this thing is... This thing goes up, I think this might uh, be out of business. But people have said that for years, so what are you going to do? Now, Monty Brown is finally out of the package after 10 years. I gotta say, I, I really like this overall figure. I mean, it's not just Monty Brown, but the figure itself is just all sorts of awesome. So let's start bottom up. Got a good toe crunch. Got a, eh, not really much of a uh, ankle pivot. Maybe a little bit. Not much. Not much of what I know I'm about. Up and down. Got, got a tricep. Look at this. I don't know what to call this. Got a boot swivel. Let's call it that. Boot, boot turn. Got a nice leg swivel too, so you can do this. And like that, that would look weird, but still, it's, it's an option. Yeah, you can see, 10 year old, it's a little bit much for the guy. But I kind of like that kind of clicking noise because it tells you, okay, you got one, and you got another. Good. So let's try this. Yep, toe articulation. This one has pivot, though. That's weird. Huh. Okay, yeah, it does have pinkle pivot. Yeah, go figure. Again. I'm here. Double jointed knee. I didn't show you that. That's good. We're going to get to that in a minute. It can, uh, it can do a hula hoop. Now, we'll get to that. Hold on. Yeah, that. This is a bit of a problem here. i got to really get it in there. Really get it out. I want to be really careful because it is a pretty old figure. Like that. I'm going to get a workout by doing this. Why not? Got a bicep. Swivel there, try ankle swivel, and look at this. Got a good thing. That and crowning achievement. Crunch the hand. That is awesome. And the, the, each hand looks kind of different if you really think about it. Yeah, it looks good. This one you can crunch a little bit more to a fist. The only problem is is his neck. You know, it's just a standard turn neck here too. And but there's one thing that I don't like. That's really weird looking. I mean, yeah. I mean, like a bulging big ball right here. I, I don't know. It's a little weird. I'm like a hunched back or anything, but yeah, that happens. Let's see. Can he stand right on his own? Let's try a, a little package. I, I've tried to. I put down in my nose that he can't kneel. I don't know what that means. I mean, yeah, I can see that. And you can't kneel. You gotta be really careful with this figure. I want to be real careful because you know, I can't really find any anywhere else. And not too bad. Yeah, he can stand on his own pretty well. That's good. So, 
What else? Oh, the look of the figure is pretty good too because we've looked at them from the package. Looks pretty good, but then you gotta turn them around and boom! There's the pounce! Right on his tights. That's awesome. I was really happy when I saw that. Kind of makes up for the uh, lack of uh, coat. Kind of. Now let's talk about the accessory. Yeah. This. Yeah. This sucks. It, it is a POS. Uh, he could have done without it. Sorry about the lack of focus here and there, but I could do without this stuff. It's just stuck in, doesn't really work. You have to lick it. I don't really feel like licking it. Yeah. The idea is to push it back here and then fire. Oh, oh, this is a really good figure. I can't really complain too much about it, except for the accessory. Well, there is some, some complaints. I mean, the, the, the hinge here, but that's not really the action figure's fault. It's probably time. I didn't really... I kept it in that package for 10 years. Something bound to happen there too. He didn't break, don't worry. And it just made that sound. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, this is the figure itself is very good. Let's go discuss it by the actual character himself. The actual man. The Alpha Male, Marty Brown. After his stint from the NFL as a linebacker for both New England Patriots and Buffalo Bills, he decided to join wrestling. His trainers was Dan Severn, the MMA legend himself, and another legend. You could say he's homicidal, genocidal, suicidal, death-defying, Sabu. Then he went to TNA Impact, or at the time uh, known as NWA TNA. He had a brief babyface stint going after Jeff Jarrett, unsuccessfully for his championship. Then he became heel, which in my opinion is probably the best thing he's ever done, is as a heel. And after a brief stint with Jeff Jarrett, he broke off on his own and tried to become his own thing. It seems as though they promised him everything and they never delivered on it. He was number one contender for the championship. But then, a big signing happened for TNA. And that was Christian. Yep, then known as Christian Cage. Monty Brown somehow or another, for some reason, I don't know why he, he accepted this, put his number one contendership spot on the line and lost. Then you have Samoa Joe coming in. He also noticed Kurt Angle was coming in. The writing was on the wall and he wasn't going to get his, his fair shake. So in 2006, he, decided, he came into WWE. In 2007, he debuted as the alpha male Marcus Quavon. Why the name change? WWE, that's why. The real reason is they wanted to copyright his own name. They're a sucker for trying to keep names themselves. Then I heard another thing that it was also in part with the other wrestler named Mon Monty or Montel, MVP, Montel Bontavious Porter. So they didn't want one person to have two different names, even though, you know, I said before, my name is John and half the state of New Jersey is named John. So we had a brief stint. Didn't really go for the championship too much. He was just in an, a faction called the New Breed. He was at WrestleMania at one point. He had a, a admittedly a eight-man tag match, but he his team was a prevailing winner. And you could say he's undefeated at WrestleMania, as well as Michael Cole. <laughs> what happened to his push or anything? Well. I had an idea, but I'm not going to go into it. It was more personal issues. And he went off TV and WWE had to fire him because it wasn't coming back. I wanted him to be the next big thing. I thought I had put my foot in the ground and said he's going to be a star. And, well, he's not. I think Monty Brown would have been a great contender for John Cena. Not necessarily win the championship, but put on a good match. Monty Brown represents to me a potential and what happens if you don't really grab that potential in a finite amount of time now i have all the respect for the world for monty brown i do i think his accolades well, very minimal should be commended and i'm not i'm not too upset about having an action figure so yeah using monty brown as my first wrestler review kind of weird but don't worry I got other plans with other wrestlers here. I have 
legendary wrestlers, wrestlers that I believe are going to be legendary. If you enjoy this video of a obscure wrestler, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments about uh, Monty Brown, you think he's great, you think he sucks, let me know. And I'm open to see why you think he sucks too, because, yeah, I can see he may not be the greatest wrestler of all time, but uh, I thought he had potential. Until the next video, thank you for watching.